Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I am happy to share that we have crossed 550 subscribers. So today's topic is about how we will generate PDF in an application and how can we add it to a case attachments. So if you go to a flow and there we have some automations given by Pega. So generate PDF uh, is one of the automation given by Pega. See here automations create PDF. So once you click on this, it will be asking few of the inputs like what is a section name, what is the PDF name you want to get it saved and what is the category of the attachment and what is the orientation of the PDF. So here I have created a section called as PDF section and I have given just a label like this. Thanks you for registration. So once I have submitted the form, it should pick this section and it should print this uh, in a PDF. Let's see whether it is working or not. I have given some data and I am just clicking submit. If you see here the case has been submitted and see the PDF registration confirmation is generated and it is attached to this case. As I have given uh, here the description as registration confirmation, the PDF file name is saved in this way and if you open you can see thank you for registration this particular message i have given in the section described over here thank you for registration so yeah it's quite simple like what what if uh, you got a requirement like you have to change the font style what if you got a requirement like you want to add some header and footer to every page in a pdf so what is the background activities that is leading us uh, to generate a PDF file. This is HTML to PDF OOTB activity. Just uh, if you can see, this is present in base class. If you see history, this activity converts HTML to PDF. So whatever data we have given, it will convert everything into a HTML like this. Body. whatever text you give it will convert into hypertext markup language uh, so this particular activity this will actually uh, get the HTML stream of the section and it will pass uh, to the Java code to generate the PDF if you see steps over here we would be sending some bytes. there is a public API so this particular bytes will actually print uh, the data and it will generate the PDF. See, so for that, the back end uh, activity is this HTML to PDF. Suppose if you want to generate a PDF and if you want to attach the to it to a case, like how we got now, uh, just we have generated this and this has been attached to the case that is nothing but PY attaches PDF. So, this is a set uh, activity which is being called and if you see here same html to pdf activity is called here and here it was adding as an attachment to our work object these are like ootb activities provided by pega and as i have said suppose if you want to change some font or if you want to add some customizations to pdf so where do we do that so if you see here, there is one data transform, PY PDF settings. 
this py pdf settings is in base class so you have to save this particular data transform into your work layer you can do your changes so if you see here if you want to change the pdf size you can give here and if you want to uh, change some orientation like uh, for example in our flow i have given landscape if it is portrait then it has to print in portrait so if you did not give any orientation it will take landscape as default okay and you can give page numbers over here uh, suppose if you want to start page number with uh, three or four you can give here and if you can see here right header html template footer html template like if you want to give some space and if you want to specify some header you can specify your particular uh, hypertext markup language over oh, here html code here this is just a sample so if you want like uh, more values for that so you can create a section and uh, check the option like uh, generate html code and by using an activity you can uh, do this step like properties at html and you can set those parameters to these values like py pdf header html template and py pdf footer template such that uh, it will in backend it will generate a pdf with our desired header and footer and this is fonts directory suppose if you want uh, some new font to your pdf you have to download uh, ttf wf format font uh, from google and you have to keep that uh, particular font uh, files in server and uh, specify the path over here so that it will pick the respective font and our pdf will be generated in the new font that we have given so these are all the other properties you can have a look on this and you can do customization based on your requirement so this is all about uh, generating pdf and uh, adding those to a uh, case and doing customizations about pdf settings hope you have understood this concept i want it to be very short why because uh, i don't want to mess up with more information thanks for watching happy learning please watch subscribe and share to your colleagues